Welcome. Uh, this evening, we are going to be talking about um, Boy Scout summer camp advancement um, resources, merit badge registration, the online system, and then we'll take some questions at the end. Uh, I'm Wayne Holtz, the director of the Ten Mile River Scout Camps. Uh, so I'll run through this evening's webinar. Once we uh, finish up, if there are any questions from the participants, we can go from there. Um, as you see, I am sharing my screen. And the first place you're going to want to go uh, is to our website, uh, www.esa-gnyc.org, as it says right up here. Um, going to that link will take you directly to our website, uh, which looks like this. To get for, uh, to the camping section of our website, you can see all of our camp options are here. Uh, this evening, we're going to be talking about 10 Mile River. So click on the 10 Mile River Scout Camps link there. Uh, there are plenty of resources here. Uh, I'm also going to show you another place to find more resources um, for each camp as well. Um, you can click here at 10milerever.org and take you to the uh, 10 Mile River specific website. Uh, and each camp is represented here, Aquahunga, Kiowa, and Ranaqua, and our truck programs, and Lakeside at Family Camp is right here. Uh, so as you see, uh, there's a list of all the things that we have for each camp. Uh, the information that you guys are looking for, resources like the Leader's Guide, prerequ prerequisite information, uh, merit badge schedules, those sorts of things are posted for each camp. Uh, tonight, we're going to just look at Kiowa, but each camp website and page is set up the same. Uh, so we'll scroll over the Kiowa uh, name here, click on resources, uh, and that takes you to this little resources page. Uh, that explains some stuff the leaders should need to know about our high adventure programs, the schedule for the week, uh, how to check in, uh, and then more details on that information are in our, our leader's guide. Uh, as you see, there are kind of two different versions of our leader's guide here. Uh, the TMR complete leader's guide listed here uh, is a large document that has everything uh, that a new troop that has never been to 10 Mile River will want to know. Uh, information for new leaders um, is in the complete leader's guide. Uh, and then the leader's guide highlights is a shorter document uh, that kind of just highlights specific things, new information, uh, the really important stuff. Uh, and then we also have a parent's guide. Uh, the parent's guide is designed specifically for parents of scouts who are attending Ten Mile River. Um, so that's something that you can send a link out to your parents in of the scouts in your troop and give them that information. Uh, so you click on this download button right over here, and that will open up the leader's guide in a separate tab or a separate window for you. Um, and this is what the cover looks like. Each cover looks different. Um, so this is what the complete guide cover looks like. So you can easily tell them apart. Um, and we'll look at the leader's guide highlights. Um, and as you see, it's green. Um, and then the, uh, the parent's guide, you click the download here for the parent's guide. Uh, the parent's guide is blue. Um, so a great way to easily tell them apart just by looking at the covers. Uh, as you see, the parents guide and the uh, leader uh, highlight guide is both a little shorter than the main document. Um, so those are all great resources for you. Definitely things you should read as leaders uh, and as parents. Uh, and then all the other documents and information you're going to need to attend camp are here. Um, the Merit badge schedule and prerequisites are listed for each camp. So if you were to go to the Aquahunga page and go to resources here, um, you will see that listed under Aquahunga is the Aquahunga merit badge schedule and prerequisites list. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at that. Um, the merit badge schedule is just a few pages that are taken out of the leader's guide. Uh, so a quick, easy reference document for you to see exactly what the program schedule is for the week while you guys are in camp. Um, and then this is posted both uh, Kiowa, Aquahunga, and Ranaqua each have their own um, different merit badge and program schedules and they're each posted on their individual camp web pages as well as the overall 
uh, GNYC and 10 Mile River um, camp pages as well has this information posted. You can find it in multiple locations. As you see, it tells you um, when what a merit badge is, uh, communications is look is at the Johnson Center. Um, and as you see, the check here that it's offered at four o'clock in the afternoon each day. Um, each merit badge schedule is set up a little bit differently, and you'll see the differences in them. Uh, and then prerequisites, we'll take a look at what those are. Um, so this is something you need to give to your scouts before they attend camp. Uh, it shows archery here. Uh, we have a rating system that is explained um, right down here as how difficult a badge is. So uh, if we take a look at archery, archery is rated a six or a seven. Uh, that means that archery is intended for intermediate scouts, the second year campers and on, uh, or, or intended for a third year campers and on. Uh, and this, the, the ratings are um, something our staff has worked on as a way to help guide you as to which of your scouts should be taking different classes. Uh, archery has no prerequisites, so there's nothing listed here. And then any notes we have about the badge will be listed here in the comments section. Uh, so say astronomy has a couple of prerequisites listed, um, and then they have to perform some observations after taps, uh, and those sorts of things are all listed here. And each camp, again, has a separate document like this that's posted on the camp page. So you guys can easily take a look at prerequisites for the merit badges and programs we have going on. Um, so that's kind of resources and information so you guys know where stuff is located. Uh, and now we're going to uh, log into our account. Uh, so this little button right here, uh, you would click that and say log in. Uh, and that would take you to your login screen, type in your credentials. If you don't have that information, give Camping Services a call and we can get you guys set up with uh, your username and passwords. You can log in and do all the things we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, first takes you right here to your first, uh, your home screen. Uh, and this will show you what you're registered for. Um, we're using a, a dummy account this evening. Uh, it's a troop that's registered for week one in Kiowa. Uh, and then your profile here, where you can update your information um, listed right here, add an alternate contact. Uh, and we're going to talk about the different information that you're going to need uh, to input is for scouts and for merit badges. Um, so if you click on the week listed here, the week of camp you're attending, Aquahunga week, it'll be listed under Aquahunga. If it's Ranaqua week, it'll be listed under Ranaqua. Uh, we have four youth and two adults attending camp. Um, right now, this number added, we have one scout who we've registered for classes. So you'll see that in a moment when I show you that, but this just shows you the breakdown. You have four spots, one is registered, um, and then the total breakdown of fees and balance due. Uh, and then in order to register scouts for classes, they need to be in your roster. Um, think of your roster like your charter list. Um, for any GNYC units, um, this should reflect the scouts that are registered on your charter and your troops should be listed here in your roster. Um, if you need us to re-upload a copy of your charter in here to update that information, let us know. We can do that for you individually. Um, also, you can add campers. If you're just missing a few, feel free to add more campers. I'll walk you through that process right now. Um, you click this new button here and add a new youth, um, and then you're going to add the scout right here. Uh, and we're going to add Joe Scout um, and put their address information in. And then everything that has an asterisk next to it is what is required. Make sure you enter that information. Uh, it's very important we have a date of birth for the scout, especially. Um, we need to know when they, uh, how old they are. Some specific classes uh, require specific ages. Uh, and then an emergency contact name and phone number as well. Uh, and then whether you want to allow photography for the scout, um, we take a lot of pictures. We like to use that stuff in our advertising material. That's why that's there. 
any serious allergies or dietary restrictions, and then a shirt, guys. Uh, and then you're going to click that save button. You see it shows up over here on your roster. And then we're going to get into event registration on how to uh, add merit badge classes. So as you see, we already have one scout listed here for our uh, week of camp. And then to add another one, um, you need to click right here on the new youth registration button. Sorry, hold on one second. I need to do a, uh, a payment here to make sure that we have that scout registered. So hold on, let me find that, uh, that unit account again. Um, and I'll show you exactly what we're doing. So you're going to want to click on event registration here, uh, right here, and then you're going to add a scout. So it shows that roster list of scouts we have here. Uh, and we're going to add Samuel Reeves. Uh, so we're going to create his registration, verify that all his information is correct. If he's in here from last summer, you may need to update information like emergency contact or a phone number, um, shirt size, something that changes from year to year and rank. So make sure that stuff gets updated. Um, and then we're going to choose their classes. It's a pretty simple thing to do. You click on this classes tab right here. And then this is a list of all the available classes we have uh, at Kiowa during week one. And they're in alphabetical order. Uh, a great thing to do is to make sure that you have your scouts uh, know what they're doing before you go online to enter this information. Um, you can just simply click down the list and add classes for the scout. Um, so this scout wants to take bird study at 9 a.m. So you click it over here and drag the class that shows up. Once you do that, it eliminates all the other 9 a.m. classes for you. So it just shows you other available options. Um, and he wants to take athletics at 10 a.m. He wants to take journalism at 11. He wants to take camping at 2 o'clock after lunch and siesta. He wants to take geology at 3 o'clock. And he wants to take sports at 4 o'clock. Um, so then it shows you other available things in the evening. Um, so for the seven o'clock time period, it's great if you can fill up this, the scout schedule and uh, make sure they have a class for of the uh, program times during the day. Um, but if the scout is scheduling a time off, that's just fine. You don't have to have everything full. Um, say he doesn't want an 11 o'clock class. You don't have to have it full. So you have all the classes listed here. Um, and then if you need to change things, it's very easy. So I just pulled that 11 o'clock class out. And he wants to change it to forestry, we can do that. You just drag forestry right in there. And then you want to make sure you click this save button at the bottom. Um, so you would click save and it prompts you to go to your cart and check out or return to the event. So if you don't have any more scouts to register for their badges, you can click the checkout button right here and that'll take you to your cart to pay. If you have more scouts to add, you click that return to event button and go right back here and you can add more scouts. So we'll add one other scout uh, and then show you the checkout process. So the same thing, click on classes here uh, and we're just gonna go through and add some classes for him. He's gonna take archery at nine, Indian lore at 11, uh, communications at two. And as you noticed, uh, when we added archery at nine o'clock, it also eliminated the 10 o'clock class period because archery is a two hour class. So it knows that archery is two hours long and doesn't give you an option to choose a 10 a.m. class. Um, and he wants to take geocaching at four. So we're going to sign him up for those classes. You drag them and drop them right over there. Uh, you want to go in and click save. But it's telling us, hey, we don't have a shirt size for the scout. We want to make sure that we enter his shirt size there and click save. Um, and then again, it gives you that option of going and adding a new youth. Uh, we're going to check out. Uh, so we're going to click check out because we're ready to um, put these kids in. And then right here, 
Um, it lists exactly what you're doing. So here's the scout. Here's Samuel Reeves, his registration. Uh, and then all of the merit badges we're registering him for. And then right down here is Tommy Scout or the other scout we're registering. And the merit badges we're registering him for. Um, I'm going to click the submit my order button right here. And that's going to register them for classes. So you get that little box that says your order has been placed successfully. Uh, and as you see, they are no longer located in the cart. Uh, so then there you go. You have re successfully registered them for the merit badges. Uh, it shows up here that we did that. If you go to orders, um, so you can look at the receipt. It shows up right there. That, hey, we have these scouts registered in Kiowa. So you click on view receipt if you want more information. It shows you the information that you need. Um, so it's really important that once you've done the, the dragging and the dropping of the classes here, um, that you go to your cart and actually check out because that process of hitting the submit my order button down here is actually what registers them for the classes and making sure um, they are registered for the classes that you, you want them to be registered for. Um, so that's the merit badge registration process. We showed you some resources that are going to help you with this process a little bit earlier. Um, so if you guys have any questions, we can take any questions right now. Um, let me go back to the screen and see if we have any questions from anybody. It doesn't look like anybody has, has uh has logged in and given a, a question. Um, but so that's the information you guys need to know this evening. If you have questions in the future, please feel free to call or email camping services and we can help help you out with the Maripad registration process or help you find any resources that you may need. Um, that's all we have for this evening. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it and have a great evening.